Hey guys, it's Anders. In today's Logic Pro tutorial, I'm going to show you my hack for using Space Designer to create huge um, atmospheric pads really quickly. So let's get into that. Okay guys, so here we are in Logic and what I'm going to show you today is my little trick that I use in Space Designer. I used to use it with uh, another reverb. You can use it with pretty much any convolution base reverb and it's a way to get some really melodic and strange developing sounds. If you find this video useful, please do me a favour and just share the video to somebody else who might not know this trick and it would be helpful and useful for them. That helps me out massively for creating this content for you guys. If you could also bash a like on the video, subscribe to the channel. If you've got any questions or anything else you would like to see, throw that in the comments down below as well. So. Essentially, what we need is a sound, which we've got here, just a real simple kick sound, nothing particularly special. All right, not even a kick sound, a wet moog, G sharp, whatever, some kind of pulse to give us something going. We then have Space Designer. And what we need to do is drag and drop a specific sound or type of sound into Space Designer. Having the things in the same key can be really useful and creates the most interesting tones, although you are prone to get some resonances. And what I've got here is a really long reverse sweeping vocal. So that tiny little hit that we had a minute ago changes into this. Now, if we bring this sound back in, all it is is this. But it's triggering and modulating with this piece of audio in Space Designer, which we can edit as we please for the most part. So I can add a load of uh, high end in and change the filters so we now get something completely different. And we can also just grab and change it with different sounds. So for example, and if we mix it in with something like a vocal, we tend to get really weird things. And it's just really useful ways to create interesting sounds really quickly and just play around with them. So here, just by layering two relatively different sounds, we've created something very new. So if we get rid of Space Designer, we had this. Now we've got... It's just a real easy trick that you can spend ages just dragging and dropping samples in and seeing what it helps you create. And then because you have the ability to shift and modulate things inside Space Designer, you can even play around and tweak them to be how you want them to be. If you hit synthesized IR, you can even really mess them up. And create whole new developed sounds and tweak them to your heart's content. And that's it really guys, using Space Designer for sound creation. My tip is to use things that are in the same key and if your uh, track is really rhythm driven using things that are in the same sort of tempo as well is also going to work. You can go with something that's in 174 and then 87, for example, and work in half time. But if you need it to be rhythmic, it's good to have audio that's also already in that rhythm. Gives you some really interesting effects that way. And then just use the features you would normally use inside Space Designer to create something completely new out of it. Guys, I hope the video was helpful for you. I will see you on the next one tomorrow. <laughs>